Hello everyone. Today I thought I would take a minute and demonstrate a calculator that I used early, early on in my career in the 1980s and 90s. And it's the Hewlett Packard 41C, a very nice calculator in its day. And it had a lot of different functionality pieces that I loved. Uh, this particular unit came with a, you could actually purchase a surveying pack. Uh, there were other packs available for this unit. You could buy a financial pack that would calculate interest. You could buy a pipeline sizing uh, capability or program pack. It was just really neat. This particular unit, I actually bought the surveying pack and it would do a host of, of functions for you. It would close a traverse, it could calculate area, uh, it would actually uh, calculate a curve and give all the curve data. Uh, and just did a bunch of different things that by hand was very tedious to do. So I'm going to demonstrate how you would actually run a bearing on the calculator and show you this. This is actually done with a, uh, against a survey of a home that I had up in Madison on Thornberry. We've since sold this home, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this with a calculator. So you would turn the unit on. So you would key in the function that you want. This is going to be a traverse function, so I'm going to actually key in TRAV for traverse. It'll come up and prompt and say display bearing. I'm going to say yes. Uh, it wants to know about latitude and departures. No, I'm not going to calculate those. And then ask for an easting and a northing. So I'm going to actually assume a, a, a coordinate of 10,000, 10,000. I'm keying those in. And then I'm going to key in the bearing. If you notice here on the survey, there's a bearing of south 50 degrees, 41 minutes, and 52 seconds east. And if you look at the north arrow, it's kind of pointing to the bottom of the map. So this quadrant will be flipped, and it'll actually be north 50 degrees, 41 minutes, 52 seconds west. So I'm going to key that in. I'm going to key in the bearing, which is 50 degrees, 41 minutes, and 52 seconds, and hit bearing. It asks me for what quadrant. This is going to be in the northwest quadrant, even though it's showing a southeast on this survey. And I'm waiting for it to calculate. You'll see here it's displaying the bearing of north 50 degrees, 41 minutes, 52 seconds west. I'm going to key in the distance here at 70 feet, so 70.00. I'm going to press D for feet, and then I'm going to hit run stop. And the calculator will calculate the bearing 10,044.3388. And then if I press the run start key again, I get 9,945-8329. So you can kind of see the instrument would calculate all these coordinates and actually give me closure. If you noticed up here at the top, I actually did calculate the sum of the horizontal distances and also the area. Uh, this particular uh, traverse and geometry indicated a, about a half acre. And uh, that was a lot up there. It's very long. If you notice the distances here, it's almost 300 feet to the back, so we had a really nice home. Uh, but anyway, I enjoyed the survey part of this, and here I actually did a, another sketch to permit the pool installation that we later built, and I got to lay that out. Uh, a lot of fun because I had to go back and do the survey and tie all that down. So there you have it. There 